July 4th, 2015. NASA's New Horizons space probe is just 10 days away from Pluto and 3 billion miles away from Earth. Its mission is to photograph Pluto's surface, collecting new data about this mysterious dwarf planet. The New Horizons project is the first time that humankind has explored Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. It's all coming to this moment after nine and a half years of flight and who knows how many years of development before that. So this is, this is right down to the wire. New Horizons Mission Control is preparing for the spacecraft's flyby of the unexplored world when it suddenly goes quiet. I got a phone call from my project manager and he called me to say, Alan, we've lost contact with the spacecraft. That should never happen. The out of lock message on the computer screen means they are getting no data from the spacecraft. Something has happened to New Horizons on the approach to Pluto. It's about the worst thing that can happen in a space mission because if you can't communicate with it, then you can't even begin to, to diagnose and solve the problem. NASA's experts call a series of crisis meetings. They suspect the issue lies with the probe's onboard computers. They eventually narrow it down to two possibilities, one of which is that the main computer has rebooted itself, which is something that has actually happened on board the spacecraft before, so it's not impossible. But a simple reboot doesn't explain the continued loss of communication. The second scenario was that the spacecraft actually sensed that something was wrong on board and did what it was supposed to do. It shut down the primary computer and turned everything over to the backup computer. In safe mode, the only thing the spacecraft does is take care of itself. It doesn't collect any science, any images or spectra or other data types. The probe is effectively useless and is still hurtling toward Pluto at 32,000 miles an hour. But there is one glimmer of hope. Using NASA's Deep Space Network radio antenna, the team searches for the New Horizons backup signal. Then at 11 minutes past 3 p.m., one word comes up on the screen and it says locked. And that means that the dish has found New Horizons and it's speaking to the spacecraft again. Diagnostic tests eventually reveal the issue. It seems that the spacecraft was getting very confused. The computers were trying to do all sorts of things and save stuff to memory and send communications around and it just crashed down. It's a bit like having too many windows open on your computer and it just freezes. 